Hi, I'm Les. So I'm going to show you how I got rid of AdSense, or at least temporarily. I just went to the Google Chrome, depending on whatever browser you're using. Um, usually AdSense will pop up in Google, because uh, they have some kind of connection going. Um, but if you have ads popping up with that little arrow that says AdSense, yeah, you want to check this out. So in Windows 7, it was very easy to just go in under extensions and disable it. We well, can't do that anymore in Windows 10. So it took me a lot of time. I'm no pro, but you want to go over here and click on this. You'll get to settings. And from settings, you're going to go all the way down to advanced. When you get to advanced, you're going to look for Sync and Google Services. This is more settings that relate to privacy, security, and data collection. And the little arrow, you're going to click on it. And it's going to go to control how your browsing history is used to personalize search ads and more. You want to click on that one. This is activity controls. The data saved in your account helps you more give more personalized experiences across all Google services. Choose which settings will save your data in the Google account. You want to manage activity, but I went through show all controls. You can see all the things that they're they're looking at device information, audio activity, YouTube history, watch history. It just goes on and on. But you want the web app activity. So you want to manage activity. And then up here, it'll pop up other Google activity. You want that. You want that. And then from there, you need a Google Ad Settings. You're going to go down, 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 down. Don't copyright me on that because I don't know what I'm singing. I got all these things. Okay, I lost it. Okay, so it's down here. Google ads settings your ad setting control the information google uses to show you ads you want to manage ad settings now, i've already gone through and done my part but i want to show you how to do it so you'll get the screen that says ad personalization i turned it off um, you can turn it back on if you want your ads to become more useful to you but uh, usually when you sign up for google chrome it automatically gives you 10 billion things that you agree to, and apparently AdSense is one of those. So every time you get on a page and search something, or buy something, or shop for something, or even just look up something, it saves it and gears your ads towards those. So everybody who's like, how's that voodoo magic happening, now you know. But I turned it off. Now, you scroll down. You will find ad choices. I'm going to click on that. See, this is the their logo. It's one of the many ad networks that personalizes ads based on your activity online. So, it automatically goes to your ad choices. Web Choices Digital Advertising Alliance's Consumer Choice Tool for Web US. The companies participating in the Web Choices tool provide transparency and choice under the DAA principles. We are evaluating this browser's cap compatibility with the Web Choices. Pretty much push continue. Basically, all these companies are using your information when you log on. I have already gone in and opted out. These are all pages, some I've never even been to, that have gotten my information. 
Now I've already gone through and opted out of a bunch of these that I believe there were 140 or something. I'll link that in. Um, but a bunch of them did not allow me to. So I'm going to show you again. Select all. It pretty much goes down and checks it for you. And then opt out of all. And it will start clearing those out. Requesting browser opt-outs. 135 opt-out requests have been made. I've already done this twice. And the answer to the DAA, Digital Advertising Alliance, is what that is. Um, it's supposed to be taking those off and telling those companies that you do not want to take part in their basically ad watching but like I said I've already done this twice and um, there's still 135 on there that um, I haven't opted out of so I'm not sure what's going on with that opt-out request for 125 participating companies were successfully completed for this browser now, I've already done this one it just gives you the information on what that is and view updated results So, most of them have that. Some of these have not. I don't even know what these companies are. So, I will probably have to come back and do it again. taken out a lot of them, which is way more than we started with. So, it should get rid of ad choices. When I open up stuff, um, ads were literally popping up everywhere. Let's see, I'll go to Let Go. That's a selling app that I use. Let's see if it shows me anything. A lot of these won't take effect until you restart your computer. That's another thing. You do want to restart it. Um, I suggest cleaning your browser settings, your cookies, your cache, all those things. Just clear them out. Okay, this is so much better. Let me tell you, I wish I'd taken a before and after because there were ads here there were ads here and they were constantly like changing and moving with gifs and stuff and now there's just that one which on this page honestly that's how they fund they have their sponsors so that's not that bad but even you know pages that were um legit like ebay okay you have a or at least i know i have a lot of personal information on ebay and um Needless to say, there were ads popping up all over it. And because of that, I couldn't even get my stuff selling. Like, they were all up in between here. And I couldn't even, like, let's see. I'm going to try to look at an item that I'm selling. This takes forever. Because even on the things that I was selling, I couldn't look at without having ads popping up. That's that's pretty sad. Let's just pick one. I'm going to go with the wedding dress. It's got seven hours left. Let's see. Does it do it? Does it do it? Does it do it? Are the ads going to pop up? <gasps> I think we're in the clear. I think my crap works. Okay, there's one ad. There's one. But let me explain something to you. There were ads all over this thing. Like, I could not... They were literally on the top and the bottom and on the sides. Like, in between here, I wouldn't be able to look at the listing because it would pop up here like 10 different search pages that I wanted to go to. Really? No, I don't. That's so much better. Okay, so I highly suggest you do it. See? 
This is ad choices. You click on those, it's just going to tell you what it is. And you, you don't like this ad, we can put something else for you. But, um, yeah, once you clear your cookies and your cache and restart the computer, hopefully as many of those ads that were taken out, the opted out, should disappear. Good luck. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them for you. But, like I said, I'm not a pro. I hope I help somebody. And I'm about to opt out again. Just because there were still some that didn't do it. <laughs> I'm just going to, I guess, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because, look, there's still ten. It's showing ten that have not been taken off. And I've done this twice. The first one was like 150. And there are nine. There's still one that I cannot take off again. Try again, maybe. Yeah. Wouldn't let me take off that one. So just keep trying it, be persistent, keep dropping these ads out, and before you know it, hopefully all those ads will just disappear. And be careful when you sign into Google, if it asks you again, do you want the ad choices? No, you don't. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks for watching.